you say first because I. No. I... Million? Oh. <laughs> it's not Hong Kong. <laughs> I'm stupid because I answered first. If I didn't say first, <laughs> he's not even close. Because of my answer, he said some, something similar. <laughs> he's waiting. <laughs> it's his turn now. <laughs> <laughs> Harder than playing basketball, right? Whoever wins the, gets the right answer, wins the game. The good thing is now it's your turn, so I can wait for you. Nesne TV'den herkese merhaba. Aşağı yukarı programının bugünkü konukları Anadolu Efes'in iki önemli oyuncusu Tibor Plays ve Krunuslav Simon. Hi, welcome to our program. I'm going to ask you seven questions. It's about you and you. And I'm going to start with the first question. What is the population of Malatya? Where Krunuslav Simon is identified with because of his jersey number in latest 2019 counting. What is the population of Malatya? You say first because I... No. I... <laughs> it's okay. Guess something. Population of Malatya. 10 million? Oh. <laughs> it's not Hong Kong. <laughs> no, it's around half million, but I'm not sure. Is it 400 or 600? But around half million. Okay. Uh, the correct answer was 800. I was so close. I knew it. Yes, I'm yes, joking. Yes. <laughs> you get 10 points. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I knew it. Uh, I'm so close to the prize. Uh, pardon me. You said 10 million. 10 million. No, 10,000. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <said, no>, no. <laughs> Excuse me. My fault. Here pecking, yes, not, yes, not yes. I just tried to find like a weird, weird number. Gets 10 points. Okay. Ah, so close. So now the second one. What is the capacity of Langsys Arena in Köln, where Tibor Pleiss was born? I say 20,000 people. I go with 18. 20,000 Kronoslav. Really? Again. Yes. No way. <laughs> yes. God, I'm, you don't know nothing. I'm so bad. No, I really <laughs> thought like the biggest arena in Germany it's 18,000 with uh, Langsas yes. I think I read some somewhere. That Maybe if there is no basketball game going on, and it's like they can stand Maybe. on the Maybe. court. And the third one. How many seconds did Kronoslav Simon play during the 2020-2021 season where he won the title with Anadolu Efes? You're talking about the whole season or just? Yeah. The whole season. How many seconds? Did seconds. Seconds, yes. A lot. Not minutes, seconds did Kronoslav Simon play. Wow. Last season. A lot, a lot of seconds. Twenty-four seconds. Come on, shoot the ball. Around uh, 50,000. I have to say a different number, so I go over 55,000. Wow, 55,888. I'm stupid because I answered first. If I didn't say first, he was even close. Because of my answer, he said some, something similar. Yeah. yeah, actually, I was about to say like something like around 65, 75. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the fourth, fourth question. In how many games did Tibor Plyce play with 100% person, percent free throw average for Anadolu FS in the Euroleague? Which game? Uh, how many games? In how many games? In how many games? Yeah. I think... 100% percentage. Just like in last season or in general? In general. Three years? Yeah. Just you. for Anadolu Efes. Just for the team. How many games? 
<laughs> he is waiting. <laughs> it's his turn now. <laughs> You got a number in mind? No, I'm waiting for him to say one <laughs> number more or less. <laughs> <laughs> I go with uh, 70. 70? 70, guys. 70, okay. 70, he said. 70. Ah, 70, okay. 69. <laughs> you want it. <laughs> because I thought like, in 20, a lot of games I didn't even shoot 27. 27. 27 games, yes. And yes. Krunuslav, yes. Uh, the fifth question. How many points did 18 teams score in total during the 2020-2021 EuroLeague regular season? How many points did 18 teams score in total? <laughs> Harder than playing basketball, right? I don't know. We should say same, same time. Okay. Now it's your turn. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Pardon me? 52,000. 52,000? Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. You want it? Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Yeah. yeah. I, w I was. I wanted to say. I wanted to say forty-six. Yes. But I was I thinking. I wanted to say. I was forty-five. I was thinking playoffs, maybe final four, more games, and then I took five thousand points more, which. It's but okay. I was like calculating it's a good with guess. eighty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a good guess. Okay. Last two questions. How many times? Were Anadolu, Anadolu FS players got fouled during the 2020-2021 Euroleague season? How many times were Anadolu FS players got fouled? It's something you cannot calculate because yeah, sure. some games are more, sometimes less. Yeah, sure. Are you speaking about last season or the season before? Because no, 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 20, 2020, 2021 season. Ah, without playoffs, without last five yes, games. Yes. So it was around 30 games. I to tell something. Yeah, give me a second. Seven hundred. 700. I will go with less. 650. Six okay. Three. The correct answer was 836. And now. Wow, you're even. The last question. Oh, God. Okay. You got 30 points, you got 30 points. The last question. How many wins does Ergin, uh, pardon me, how many wins does Anadolu FS head coach Ergin Ataman have in his Euroleague career? How many wins? How many wins does Anadolu FS head coach Ergin Ataman have in his Euroleague career? How many wins? Yeah. Whoever wins the gets the right Answer wins the game. The good thing is now it's your turn, so I can wait for your answer. Actually, I have no idea how many years he's, uh, he was in EuroLeague. And he was with Galatasaray in EuroLeague. EuroLeague came. 700. I go with less, I go 650. The correct answer was 146. <laughs> really? 146? Yes. So it was just Galatasaray? No, 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 no. 
Euro. Yeah. 106. Yes. With Siena, with it. No, 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 yeah, with it. Yes, Euro League carry. 146. Yeah. 146. Yes. Yes. Tibor wins the game. Thank you so much. Yeah. You were great. You were great and have a good season. Okay. Nesne TV'de aşağı yukarı programında bu sefer Tibor Plays ve Kronoslav Simon konuklarımızda Tibor Plays kazanan oldu. Herkese mutlu günler diliyoruz. Tekrar görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın.